She's strong, real strong. Hey everybody, hope y'all doing well today. Got another battery review video for you today. This time it's from XZMY brand, their standard 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. And if you've not seen the channel before, or even if you have and don't remember, I love batteries. Batteries and energy storage are vital to continued operation of the off grid mountain homestead. So I like checking out different brands of batteries, trying to find a, a good bargain, bargain friendly battery with good capacity, good features, things like that. Well, this battery supposedly ticks all those boxes. So this is a standard group 31 size case, well, mostly standard. It's about a half inch shorter than a standard group 31, 12 volt lead acid battery, deep cycle for use to that size case. It's got two carry handles on the top, plastic carry handles instead of a strap. So I like that. It was also packaged very well. I always like to see a battery packaged good. That to me means the company takes pride in their product. So you can see this particular box right here with the foam for the XZMY had close to two inches of foam all the way around the battery came with a manual it came with short and long terminal bolts very nice to get extras and a little has a little welcome packet to the brand How about the warranty and all that good stuff so all that little pertinent details in there i'm gonna open this one up today for you so now y'all like seeing them tore apart, see how the internal build is on them. Well, this battery has to be the most difficult one I've ever tried to open. I think I've got it where I can pop it off now. There we go. It had some kind of, there's some kind of hard epoxy on here that's holding the side on. It's normally like a liquid sealant, like a polyurethane sealant. This is like some kind of hard epoxy. So it actually cracked the case. So get that the rest of the way off of there. And you can see the, Epoxy, fiberglass rolls in or something, whatever is right there, made it very difficult to open. So an A plus on the case construction. So let's investigate further into the XZMY battery. All right, got silicone cable. I'll look at the gauge on that in just a second. Let's see if anything catches my eye first opening it. I do notice this BMS looks very familiar. It looks like a JBD BMS. Let me zoom in for you. It is a JBD uh, model number, but it's branded XZMY. So that tells me this is a JBD BMS, probably custom program, custom settings uh, made for XZMY battery. It's a common port BMS, which means the charge and discharging are handled on the same, same ports. There's no additional ports for charge port or discharge. It's charging and discharging on the same, same side of the BMS. Uh, looks well put together, bolted connections right there. Got prismatic cells in there, foam around everything. Uh, probably glued glued down seriously in the bottom the way the rest of it was constructed. I see nothing, nothing pinched. Got nice epoxy board on top of the cells. Um, what gauge is that? Six gauge, 200 degrees silicone jacket on that side. And then what do we got here on the negatives? Probably two, two silicone number eights. Uh, yes, two silicone number eights on the negative terminal. So let me see if I can break it down a little further and see if I can get down into these cells, see if we can see the name of the cells. Well constructed, very well constructed for a budget friendly battery. So I tried my best to get this pack out of the casing. It must have that super duper glue underneath too. I don't want to cut the casing out yet. I don't want to cut all this tape or pull epoxy board off. I'm still going to run this battery, but I did use my inspection mirror so i looked underneath here i tried to get it on camera i shined the flashlight down and, and looked at all the cells looked at the bus bars underneath everything like that the cells are branded x z and y cells they got x and y stickers down at the center of each cell uh looks looks very similar to a gfb cell so i don't know if gfb is custom contracted out to x z and y to make the cells for this pack under x z and y's custom specs how that works but very, very similar appearance to a GFB branded cell. Now, another thing I noticed under here, it's got laser welded bus bars all the way down. So nice looking welds from, from looking at it with the mirror. I didn't see any splatter, no big globs or nothing. And then the balance leads, which of course, if you notice this, they are, they are wrapped with a wire loom going underneath to protect them in this section right here. 
and the balance leads are bolted to the center of the bus bars with a star washer and all that good stuff. So great construction. And then the two thermal switches, one goes down to the battery here and I use an inspection mirror on this one on the side of the cell. It is 60 degree C thermal switch. So there's your high temp protection on the cells. And this joint right here, this connection is another thermal switch. It runs up under the aluminum heat sink on this BMS and it sits in the middle of the printed circuit board. So that's your high temp for the uh, circuit board too. So it's got high temp. And just for reference, if you had a low temp on this, it'd be actual sensor, not a thermal switch for the low temp on this BMS. It's an option. It would be right here and you'd have your little black lead coming out and they'd tie it in wherever they engineered it to be at. For those of you that require low temp protection, this does not have it. It's just, just high temp, just a standard BMS. Um, it's easy to keep these batteries warm in a little battery house or stuff like that. So I'm not too concerned with the low temp cutoff, but you know, even if the battery costs five or 10 more dollars, it'd been nice to have a low temp cutoff right here due to the overall great construction of this battery. I think that'd be a great selling point for the brand if they could include a low temp protection on this model. No wires loose, no terminals loose. Everything is tight. It's hydraulically crimped. Great, I mean, great construction, just a great overall constructed battery, but enough jawing about the internal construction. I know you want to see what it's going to do, so let me halfway assemble it back together. I'm going to do a full power pull. All right, got the big top bowl 4,000 watt monster hooked up to this little bitty XZNY battery, so I'll go ahead and turn the inverter on. The battery's fully charged, by the way. So let's see if the BMS in the XZNY battery will hold 120 amps. Resistive load, we can dial it up. So we'll start slow and work our way up. So pay attention over here to the amp draw coming out of the XZNY battery. All right, that's 10 minutes according to the camera viewfinder. She's strong, real strong. All right, let the cooling fan shut back down on the top bowl. They cycled on and off the whole the whole run. Voltage is recovering back up. So yeah, it's it's strong. I have no doubt the capacity is there. I'll do a capacity test on it in an upcoming video. Don't want to take no more of your time, but I do want to get over here. And that was a good 10 minute rip. So I want to make sure nothing inside the battery is warm. Cables are not warm. Check the BMS. Body temperature at most. Yeah, everything's around body temperature. So, you know, ambient, a little warmer than ambient, but not warmer than, than body temp. So that's a good 10 minute rip at full, a little bit over full rated capacity on it. So looks like she's gonna be a ripper. So, so far, a great little battery. I'll continue testing it. Uh, X and Y done a good job assembling this and it appears to have good components. Uh, if I had to nitpick something, of course, you know, we got the low temp. You know, if they'd add the low temp in, that'd make it, you know, double thumbs up for real. And maybe a smaller case, maybe a group 24. If I was going to nitpick, maybe shrink it down, which they do have a mini version out. So maybe that's what they did with the new mini models. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep running it, keep testing. Anything comes up, I'll let you know. Uh, I have to get busy fixing all this plastic, get it reassembled so I can run it and keep you updated on it. Appreciate y'all watching Aukerman Homestead. Thank you so much. I hope I earned a like from you today. Please hit that like button if I earned it. Questions, put it in the comments. If you're not subscribed, we'll go ahead and the description. Until next time, I bet her the grid don't go. Y'all have a good day.